Hello, I'm Christina Malcolm and I'm going to show you real quick how to transfer PNP paper onto sterling silver for jewelry etching with ferric nitrate. So these are my tools that I need to do my transfer with. I've got a curved end burnisher, a pair of sharp scissors, the wedge from a ring clamp, and a piece of 400 grit sandpaper. So the first thing I need to do is to get my hot plate warming up. So right now the thermostat is set at 250 degrees. I can feel the heat coming off of it. I'm going to be really careful not to touch it while I'm talking to you guys. So need to make sure that my sterling is super clean. So I'm going to scrub it with my 400 grit sandpaper and be careful not to touch it again where it's been cleaned because our oils in our fingerprints can act as a resist as we are etching. Alright, I'm going to look and make sure that I've got that evenly sanded and I can tell that I do not, so I'm going to work on it some more. Okay, I like the way that looks a lot better, so I'm going to lay my sterling right down onto the hot plate. And remember to be careful that it is hot. Now I have my super sharp little scissors. And my PNP paper. I'm going to cut it out pretty close to the image. All right, now this is the most difficult part of the transfer in my opinion, uh, is laying down the paper actually. So what I try to do is line up the corners here. Remember everything's really hot. I have the PNP paper bowed a little bit so it's going to touch down in the center first. I'm looking through the shiny part of the paper to see the transfer image underneath. You can see the black through the shiny. I'm using that to line everything up. And now I'm just being as still as possible and holding my breath and laying it down. That wasn't bad. Okay. So now we need to burnish like crazy. That's what these guys are for. My students always say that they never would figure in a hundred years that you need to burnish this hard, but you do. Um, first thing we need to worry about is getting the bubbles out from underneath the paper. So I'm using my wedge to smooth out, working from the center towards the edges, trying to encourage any bubbles that could have gotten trapped under there to uh, migrate out towards the edges. Equally, at the same time, I am kind of pushing things down uh, so that it's in the right place and it doesn't slip as I'm burnishing it in a couple minutes. Okay, once I get the image kind of uh, 
started here, I'm going to bend over and try to catch the reflection of the light across the surface of the glossy PNP paper to see if I can see any inconsistencies in the surface that would indicate there's a bubble underneath. So I'm going to actually bend over and I'm looking across the surface. And I can't actually see anything right now. It actually looks really good. So now I'm going to use my burnisher in my right hand and I'm going to use my wedge to hold this down as I work. So you have to burnish harder than you think you do. And I'm going down each trunk of my tree in the transfer and burnishing it with that curved part of my burnisher. Again, if you think you're done burnishing, burnish three more times. You want to be able to see the black from the ink in your transfer through the glossy side of your PNP paper very care clearly because this will tell you that your image has transferred. I like to pay extra attention to the corners because I am notorious for having a light adhesion on my corners. So I try to go back and do all my corners multiple times. So I feel pretty confident about this. I'm going to turn my hot plate down to warm. And I'm just going over it again because I have a tendency to miss spots and I don't realize where it is. So I'm trying to use a variety of strokes and methods to transfer the image. And I'm, you can hear when my burnisher falls off the edge of the silver, how hard I'm pressing. Okay, so I'm gonna sneak a peek just by lifting a corner here and seeing how good uh, the adhesion is. So. That looks like really good adhesion. So I need to pick the piece up now, which is kind of uh, difficult. So I scoot it over to the edge. And there we go. So I'm gonna let this cool for just a second. And very gently.
All right, that was really great adhesion. You can see by the black spots that are left on the transfer that it wasn't perfect adhesion. Those are the bubbles that I was talking about that I didn't get all the way out that I thought I did. And you can see here that you can't really tell that I'm missing anything except for that one great big spot right there. Uh, if I wanted to, I could go in and try to repair that with some fingernail polish, but I'm not going to worry about it. This is going to be good enough for my etching. So now I'm going to go ahead and uh, move on to getting it mounted and ready to go into the ferric nitrate. Thanks for watching and hope that was helpful.